let's take a look at the example questions for uh, congruent angles and bisectors. Our first example, A, says write all equal angle statements. Now, at this point, uh, the biggest thing we're looking for are angles that are marked as equal. So if we take a look at angle A, D, B, right here, we can see that it's marked with a single hash right here. And then angle B, D, C on the lower right is also marked with a single hash right here. So we can see that angle A, D, B is congruent to angle B, D, C. And we can also see that angle F, D, E on the lower left is also marked with a single hash. So it is also congruent to both of those angles. So we can just actually add another congruency symbol here, angle F, D, E. Now you can also tell, there's another rule we'll talk a little bit more about later, but we can also tell uh, because F, D, E and B, D, C are across from each other, those are also called vertical angles. And there is another rule that says that vertical angles are equal. So we could also tell that those two are the same by recognizing that they were vertical angles. Now, just as a quick sort of a trivia thing, can you identify how many degrees there are in each of these angles? Well, assuming that ADB and BDC are equal, then ADC right here must be bisected by this line right here, line DB, or actually ray DB. And if that's the case, then the 90 degrees of ADC would be bisected into two 45 degree segments. So each of these angles up here are also each 45 degrees. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, what is the measure of each angle? And then it tells us that A, B, C, and Z, Y, or I'm sorry, X, Y, Z are the same angle. Neither one has any hash marks. And that they are not given in degrees, but their measures are given in variables. So it t tells us that 5x plus 7 must be the same thing as 3x plus 23, if these two angles are equal. Then we just solve for x by subtracting 7 from both sides. We get 5x equals 3x plus 16. And then we subtract 3x from both sides. And we get 2x equals 16. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us x equals 8. So if x is 8, then our ABC, angle ABC, would be 5 times 8 plus, se uh, plus 7, or 47 degrees. And angle XYZ would be three times seven or three times eight, which is twenty-four plus twenty-three, or also forty-seven degrees. All right, and then finally, example C is OP the angle bisector of SOT. So is this line right here the bisector of this angle from S to O to T? And we could tell it was the bisector if there's to be the same number of degrees on each side. And since this angle right here and this angle right here are each marked with a single hash mark, they've been identified as having the same number of degrees. So OP is indeed the angle bisector. Yes, because the number of degrees is equal on each side. There you go.